Hello, my name is Aaron Hansen with Intelligent Controls. We're in the back shop today talking about the Globolink 520. Remote monitoring systems are all about efficiency in troubleshooting and ultimately labor savings. Sometimes having one piece of information is the whole point of these systems, such as temperature or state of charge. But they don't need to be complicated, and that's the space where the Globolink is just so dominant. It's small, it's simple, it's powerful. It allows for some great perspective on your system. So what is it? Well, it's a data logger that talks on LTEM, which is a cellular network that is very similar in terms of range to your normal mobile devices. It works at a different frequency, so if you're using the external antennas, uh, just make sure that you get an LTEM antenna. It comes with a five-year prepaid data plan, so that makes it incredibly easy to connect and hook up. Typically, these are going in smaller systems, and the point of it is to interface with Victron's remote portal for monitoring systems known as VRM. It has two VE direct ports for connecting Victron equipment, a normally open, normally closed relay contact, and it has two digital inputs, which are handy for logic high, low uh, kind of measurements like doors and, and alarms. The Globalink is an extremely easy way to get your system online. It's low cost, and it provides for a remote perspective that's comparable, and in many cases, even better than being on site. The Globalink is especially attractive for smaller systems. In fact, this is a popular product for engineering teams and R&D development teams that are trying to get new products evaluated and into the field. When these systems are deployed, the systems that are data logged far exceed the ones that are not in terms of customer confidence being able to know that you have a problem or being able to evaluate your successes uh, is always a huge advantage. As you'll see, the point of the Global Link is to keep things simple. But with some of these product improvements with these new firmware upgrades, the Global Link keeps impressing us. The biggest update is that it uses the onboard Bluetooth receiver to talk to a whole host of Victron smart devices. So a smart device has a Bluetooth capability and now this can wirelessly talk to this. That's pretty awesome. In fact, you can do up to 10 devices. That includes solar charge controllers, the new IP43 charger, smart shunts, like these new IP65 smart shunts. Um, all those devices can communicate, and there's a nice list attached at the bottom here for what those items are. A non-Victron product on the list are the Ruby sensors. They're measuring for humidity and temperature, and of course, they sync up just like the rest of the Victron equipment. They've been talking to the servos for a while and have been incredibly popular. One of the data points oftentimes that we miss is temperature and humidity, both inside and outside of the equipment. These sensors come in a, a number of different varieties, including a waterproof version for exterior mounting, incredibly durable. Uh, you can change out the battery uh, in two years and they alert you to the fact that the battery is getting low. All this information, of course, is coming back to VRM, so you can set up alarms and alerts, and we did a nice video on this, and it's exactly the same as the servo process once that information is back into VRM. In fact, all of those alarms and alerts are available for any of the devices and any of the data streams that are coming back from the global link. So it's really easy to customize if you had something specific that you're looking for uh, as an alarm or an alert or a trigger to have that send you uh, the email associated with that event. The Globalink does have reduced remote control options, but if the first step in troubleshooting your system in your troubleshooting guide is to power cycle the equipment, as is often the case, or to power cycle or reboot the cameras or the server, um, you can use the onboard relay for that. Also, starting a generator is a common use case. Of course, it's not automatic. It's remote with VRM. You click a button and it starts the generator, for example. Um, it's worth noting that it takes up to 15 minutes for this to happen in some cases because the, the Global Link actually reports every 15 minutes. That's its data rate, and that's fixed. So if you want that to happen quicker, you can use a little relay logic on the equipment side to make that reboot happen in a shorter amount of time. So the Global Link is an incredible value, not only because of its cost, but also because of what it enables you to unlock in terms of VRM and all of the data um, that could possibly go through this device. The 
ability to talk to more devices, including temperature sensors and even this charger, mean that this device is just getting more and more attractive. Knowing more is wonderful and minimizes those air miles to the field. When those trips are necessary, you will bring exactly what you need to fix the problem because you will no longer have a mystery out there. You'll know what the problem is. We noticed that even the head troubleshooters at the office, working with the field technician, those conversations are faster and they're more efficient and more productive than ever before. Why? Because we have the information about what's going on with the system. From simple to more advanced, Victron offers a very large range of solutions, all geared at helping you do what you do better. Uh, we're looking forward to helping you navigate these and other technical products on your prototypes and on your builds. From our team to yours, thank you and we'll see you next time.